Good morning, guys. How are you? RKT is top Wall Street bets mention. Awesome. A little bit behind today. One I do regret I didn't do was this W, but man, I wish it was a bit tighter, but I, I should have bought it. I mean, coming out of a base like this, you, you, know, necess you don't necessarily need that much tightness, but I always want tightness. Yeah, there's, there are some interesting things starting to emerge here. Some solar stuff, some China, some weed names. The crypto names are back, some of the fuel cell related stocks. Um, yeah. I did size down my short exposure significantly yesterday. I, sh I covered TQQ, I covered Mara, and I covered the half Riot. Um, I'm gonna keep the other half in case it gets rejected of the the 10 day here but if it looks like it's gonna reclaim the 10 day i'm, I'm covering the other half too uh, and yeah and this pen had a nice breakout yesterday DraftKings broke out on friday or actually this one broke out yesterday too but i bought it on friday and there are some there are some positive signs Yeah, APHA, yeah, that's a nice one. Also, there are several ones. Look good.
still ideally most of these stocks it would be great if they can go sideways one more day or two more days <clears throat> but yeah i'll probably start decreasing my long exposure again Who is calling me two minutes before the market open? Damn salesman. <clears throat> okay, good luck everyone. Don't really have anything super exciting out of the gate. Maybe Zoom and SC, not sure. Yeah. Zoom had great earnings. Wait, is that a misprint on Zoom? Or did they open down from the pre-market price? Weird. go with the alerts yeah I see it's a potential episodic pivot not super excited about it but since it's it's not really a young trend but
Guys, are you having data problems on Zoom in TC2000? It, it, it display it's... Oh, now it's showing the candle. Didn't show the candle just now. Yeah, QS is tightening. It is. I would prefer a bit more sideways though. <clears throat> there are some really good things setting up. I, I'm actually getting excited again for the first time in many weeks. Just a few things that need to go sideways a bit more and we'll have five star setups <clears throat> later this week, hopefully. So am I getting this right? This lemonade is trading at 80 times sales and they've had negative revenue growth two quarters in a row now. Okay. On the other hand, the estimates are looking pretty good, but still, it's... <laughs> yeah, welcome to 2021. Right, looks like we got a little bit of fade so far.
Is it you or is there no sound for a few days? I think it's you. Yeah, I'm drinking Oko right now. apps yeah unfortunately it wasn't tight when it broke out i hate breakouts that are not tight they can sometimes work but i prefer tight breakouts unless they you know unless something it's something like w that's taking out a long range then you have to look at the overall pattern unfortunately i did pass on it but it is what it is AVXL looks good. Yeah, yeah, it does look good. Yeah, good setup. Reminds me about Sava a little bit. I do kind of think it's a nice setup.
yeah, this is why, you know, you got to be careful in a market like this. can't just, you know, buy hand over fist. <clears throat> because we're still in a base building period. But once we start seeing a lot of good looking setup, that's when we get the green light. Right now, there are some that are looking okay, uh, but most things still need a few days at least few days of tight action. I did buy APHA and um, Tilray so far. And I bought some GMBL though too. I'm gonna have a wide stop on this thing. I have a very small position, the Citron pump. It's, 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 it's one of these gambling stocks, just like DraftKings and Penn. And apparently gambling is a big thing, so That's the hottest sector right now. Esports, okay. Oh, okay. I thought he was gambling. <laughs> because it's in the gambling uh, uh, thing. The TC2000. Esports entertainment. No idea what they do. SC, what a piece of shit. SC is a great one. It just didn't have that good of a setup. This this is what it does. It pulls back to the 50 day and then it goes. This this is the type of stock you have to pull uh, buy. You know you, you can't you know buy strength on it usually. Better to buy weakness. Some stocks are like this, but again, it's 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 a, it's look at look at the move it made. Just in one year, it's up 650 percent. It's a mega cap stock. That's a huge move for a stock like this. You no, know, you, you can't really expect this thing to go straight up from entry. That's the problem with this. You want really really solid setups. What I made by APHA, uh, five star setup. And it's not a big position, it's a very thin stock. I don't have a big position in it, maybe 10. It's not even, it's maybe 5% of my portfolio. But it's, it's, it was like a five star setup. I mean, it, it's textbook, you know, clean trend, orderly pullback to the 20, undercut, retest, undercut, reclaim. Higher lows all the way, and now it's had two tight days, especially yesterday, very tight day. I mean, it's a five and a half star setup on a five star scale. That we made me buy it. Why is Perry up? Why is any stock up any given day? I don't know, maybe it had earnings? Maybe um, an analyst upgrade. Uh, let's see here. No, this is old news. Yeah, I, I can't find the news on it. Uh, mm -hmm. Did he uh, pre-announce? No idea. Oh, they pre-announced. Okay. Yeah, earnings and pre-announcement. That's this. There's a big edge if you learn to try, tr try trade the earnings and pre-announcements. Two of my favorite type of episodic pivots.
Yeah, me and Riot so far, the day three uh, bounce setup. Just like, uh, which one was it? Yeah, just like Mara was last week. Like, if you're a day trader, this is the most profitable day trading setup. Meaner version. If you learn these types of setups, if you have a big mover, goes down, bounces on day three. If you learn to trade it, if you identify correct setups, you, you, you know, you kind of turn a tiny account into a huge account. Just like Mara on this day where I shorted it. Got rejected on the 10 day, slammed down, straight down. Now I was hoping it was gonna go down to the 50 day, but that's but it didn't. So you can swing trade these, you can day trade these. The most profitable day trading setup. Riot today. Gap up into this supply area, the 10 day, declining 10 day. If you learn one setup, if you want to be a day trader, that's it. Food to breaking opening, yeah, but it's still, it's still below yesterday's highs. Wake me up if when food to breaks yesterday's highs. And see here, SOS. Well, today was day two, but it got rejected, rejected on the 10 day. But I'm hoping for a one more day of bounce. And I'm still pissed it gapped up so much yesterday. That would have been such a... Imagine if this thing had gapped down yesterday instead of gapped up. And we, we've, we've gotten this move from like low 4s to high 7s organ or, or mid 8s organically. That, that's like a double. But it didn't. Because sometimes the market likes to fuck with us. Well, actually, it happens all the time. Are you not worried about T12 risk longing SOS? Yeah, there's probably some risk involved in these pump stocks, but no, not really. I don't think there's gonna happen anything. Maybe there will, I don't know. TMDX, what's the question? No. I would I I want more sideways personally Another couple of days would have been ideal
Yeah, the wheat stocks are definitely a leading sector right now. They're all breaking out. APHA was the best one. Tillery and MJ are also decent setups. And SNDL. That's the hottest sector right now. Or the strongest. It's the highest sector. AMRS, well, yeah, I would say it's too late. It broke out yesterday. Yesterday should have been the entry. Man, I hope this GME hold, you know, stays tight like this today. Maybe we'll have a big move. Maybe we'll have another leg higher uh, tomorrow if it can stay like this today. Or even better if it goes sideways for a few uh, more days. MWK is a good setup. No, it's not tight. It was a good set. It was a better setup yesterday, but yeah, it's not tight. It's not here. It was a good setup. Study this. This is a five star today. Zero star. Yeah, maybe we're gonna hit uh, 1100 viewers um, <laughs> by end of the week. The chat with traders definitely blew it up a little bit. Yeah, I know, there's an inverse correlation. Well, Tesla is not going up that much, or down that much. Yeah, should have capped the stream when I had the chance. If this Futu can go sideways today, that would be a really good setup for tomorrow. Such a beautiful, beautiful tight setup. For tomorrow. Or the next few days. GBTC2. Man, if it can stay tight. Ah, QS is already going. I would have preferred it staying tight. Well, there will be a lot of setups for the coming days. <clears throat> What's RKT doing? It's going higher. There you go. If you buy a stock, it's supposed to go higher. It's expected. So it's good. What the hell is this? Where did this thing come from? What's this purple thing? What? What the hell is this? It just appeared. What? That's weird. Hackers, yeah, damn hackers. Mm, yeah, <laughs> it's the SEC.
How do you make your daily watch watch watching sticky on TC two hundred? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My daily watching sticky on TC200. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. You mean my daily watch list? What do you mean by sticky? I, I, I'm not sure. You mean this? What do you mean it keeps fading away? I, I'm not sure what the question is. Text on short? On top? Hobby short. I, I don't I don't understand. How do you make it sticky? What's the find How do you make your daily watch it sticky? Like a sticky note? What do, do you mean this one? What, what do you mean sticky? I, I don't... The top top left? Yeah, this one. What do you mean? How do you make it sticky? You, you just put your watch list over here. You just open any watch list. Like positions. And boom. Here it is. It stays wherever you want. Uh, it doesn't minima. I don't pin it, you just put it there and it stays there. What are you talking about? If you're doing this, float the new layout window, then it's gonna disappear. You, you don't float it in new layout window. You keep it inside of TC2000. What the hell is this? What is this box? Go away. Who taps the main window? No. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I think you what you did was oh, yeah, you click that button, so it opens in a new tab. That's when it kind of disappears if you click anywhere. You gotta keep it inside of TC two thousand, then it won't go anywhere. Do I see any good shampoo formations? Not today. How old am I? 33? You become a boomer at 33? Really? I'm not sure. Yeah, M is uh, it's an okay looking one, I guess. How do I like the base on Tupperware? Ooh, they have earnings soon. You know, oh, it's so thin. But this, this thing can break out on earnings. This is the type of stock that can go make big moves. Look at the weekly. It's high tide flagging on the weekly. Wow. I think it needs to uh, break out on earnings. They have earnings in next week, I think. Yeah, next Wednesday. Looks good. Building higher lows. Getting tighter. I like it. Yeah, Farfetch is something. I had my watch list coming into today. I think it needs a few more days, then it's gonna go. Building higher lows. That's good. What I think of Baidu. I would have preferred it to stay tight, but yeah, hmm. It is going now. Hmm. I would have preferred a few more days of sideways. HIMX. Ah, uh, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Definitely not a five or four star setup, but 
Yeah, I don't know. Nothing that screams buy, in my opinion. <clears throat> Pen, nice trade. Uh, so this hasn't even gone yet. Wake me up when it's at uh, mid high hundreds. It's only up a few percent from where I bought it. I don't even care about it. Um, I want big moves. RKT is a nice big move. Nearing 30% from entry. That's the moves you want. Explosive moves. This is why you trade high ADR stocks. Or at least higher ADR. Is Airbnb going? No, it's not. It's barely, it's barely above yesterday's highs. QS. Well, I would have preferred a few more days of sideways. So now, well, maybe we get a setup in a few days. Um, Mm -hmm. if, is, is FSR an example how to trade a stock post earnings? Uh, when were the earnings? This thing doesn't even have any earnings. Isn't it a concept company? This, this, it has no earnings. Well, no. This was an episodic pivot. It, it, it had some PR memorandum of understand with Foxconn and uh, obviously you know the volume was very big B big volume it's a hot sector electric vehicles it's been building higher lows at this long base you know that that told me there's interest in this thing you gotta put these things to get they get a hot sector like all these EV stocks have made big big moves over the past six months 12 months Some stuff like NIO Tesla, uh, XPEV, LI, now obviously these are now fading. And this one is just coming out of a long, long base and had big volume. That, that's why I bought it. You always want to buy, buy things coming out of big, big bases. Something like W yesterday broke a six month base. Um, something like uh, a rocket I bought yesterday also broke a long, long base, five, six months with higher lows. Look at the volume here. These are the types of things you want to find. When I bought Celsius, broke out of a, you know, nice base, higher lows. And it had earnings. Look at the volume. This is where I bought it. I bought it like 28 bucks or something. And then I sold it at like 40. And now it's at 70 almost. DQ. Bought the long base. Higher lows. It got tighter and tighter. Broke out on not super volume, but it had some, you know, it wasn't really super. But it broke out and now look at it. The same pattern, if you just learn that it's one pattern, you can afford anything you want in life. And now, if you also have a little bit of brain power, and you put things to together, like what, if it's a hot sector, if it's an intriguing story, if there are, you know, if there's big, you know, triple digit growth, you will have an even bigger edge. But that is not needed. You can just purely trade momentum. You make a, you can have very very good returns. And obviously, having a good market helps a lot too. Because none of these things are gonna work. Breakouts are not gonna work in a declining market. You can forget about it. That's why I've been so cautious over the past few weeks. Because I know you can get chopped up really fast if you start buying breakouts in a non-favorable market. So LAC maybe in a few days could be nice.
Do I, I follow any news source? I subscribe to a few, but I don't really follow them. I only use them when I need uh, to check on some specific stock. But I don't follow any news feeds, no. I think it's a waste of time. How do you know whether it's consolidating or not? Or versus lost momentum? You can see it clearly. Look at the higher lows. Look at how it's getting tighter. And also, you know, any time a stock goes up 1,500% uh, in a few months, you know, some sideways, you know, it, it's just expected. You know, if you look at the weeklies, it was a, you know, pretty decent looking flag. But yeah, higher lows. Higher lows is your friend. You blew up eight small day trading accounts. Woo. That sucks. Palantir. I usually wait for market hours. Anytime I buy an episodic pivot pre-market, it always stops me out. I, I'm having the worst luck with episodic pivots in pre-market. Always stops me out. Super weird. Yeah, if I had to start again with a small account, I would definitely swing trade. I would probably do like three to five to ten uh, day type of swing trading and just, you know, compound, compound it very fast. Long, short. I wouldn't day trade. And I would also not do like a longer term swing trade, like multi week, multi month. I would do shorter sh swing trading, few days to maybe a week or two tops. And just tra trade the highest ADR, highest momentum stocks. Long short, that's where the edge is the best. Yeah, like momentum burst. <sighs> Open, yeah, I was actually looking at it. Um, Again, I wish it was a bit tighter, but yeah, look at the higher lows. It, it's it's an okay setup, maybe three and a half stars. I, I actually had an alert set on it, but I passed on it because it's a little bit too thin for me. Ah, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's not like, a, oh, it's a screaming buy type of a setup. I would prefer a bit more tightness, but yeah, I mean, it looks okay. It looks okay. I'm getting to a point in my trading, like, I, I really don't care anymore. Like, I, I, I want the perfect setups. I have no desire to trade three-star setups. I want the five stars only. Maybe a four-star here and there. Yeah, less is more, it is, absolutely.
yeah, good looking, nice find. He also had a very good setup here, and today it's a, it's a pretty good setup also. What are the other uraniums doing? UEC, uh, no setup here, URG, uh, getting tight, maybe tomorrow. What more are there? CCJ, also a decent one. Not in 5 star, but it looks pretty decent. Yeah, that's another hot sector, or hot sector, strong sector. Radioactive sec sector. Oh yeah, LDU! Oh, good looking one. It can just break out. Too very thin though. DNN. Yeah, another one. Wow. A lot of. Yeah, wow. The, the, there are things starting to merge again. There are things. Ideally, a few more days of sideways on most of these, but. Yeah, things. Setups are coming back. That's good. That's a good sign. Wow, RMO. Look at the fade it did from the parabolic short setup here back in uh, late December. It's so important to have sell rules. So important. Yeah, I know. I, I see I'm seeing his tweet that's why I'm looking at it now obviously if you're an investor you should never have stops but as a trader if you're trading without stops you will be a statistic and it, it's not a question of if it's a question of when and what I mean by be becoming a statistic is the statistic that 99% of traders fail eventually you don't want to become a statistic. Eighty-five <laughs> percent. I would say it's closer to ninety-nine percent than uh, eighty-five percent. It's all about time frames. Anyone can make money being uh, in the right place at the right time for a short amount of time I've seen it happen so many times and then it blow up if you just increase the time frame at the fail rate within say three years I'm pretty sure it's closer to 99% to 85% but if you look at an 85 like say say a six month time frame well that's then maybe we're looking at an 85% fail rate but if you increase the time frame and the market changes well, how can you blow up if you only risk 1% of your account every trade? Very easy. If you don't have a specific setup, if you don't have any rules, well, except for that one, you know, sell rule. But if you're trading without an edge, you're going to blow up just by taking a lot of small losses. You still need an edge. Just be, you know, <laughs> like successful trading is about so many things. Having a profitable setup, knowing when to trade that setup, position sizing, risk management. If you have risk management, but you don't have an, have a, have an edge, you don't have a profitable setup, or you don't know, you don't understand when that setup is not in favor, Risking 1% on, on a trade is not going to save you. You will blow up. Because if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you take a lot of 1% losses, well, after a while you won't have a lot of, lot of money left. Very easy to blow up. Taking a lot of 1% losses. Very easy.
Do I have any personal rules about how many times you can try one setup? Say that you got stopped out but you still want it? Nope. Who's Alan Farley? Waking up on time? Yeah, I'm not a morning person either. And I'm still a bit late to the market, even though, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm usually awake like six, six, five, six hours before the market opens. Like today. Well, today I had some meetings in the city, so that's my excuse today. But <laughs> many times I just play Hearts of Iron, I forget about the time. <laughs> PAVM. Um. Oh, uh, it needs time. Ankuf. Uh, what? Are you sure you mentioned the ANCUF? If this thing is gonna be climbing higher, uh, it's been going sideways forever. I, I don't see. I don't see anything here. I think you put the wrong ticker. Because what you wrote is not uh, correlating to what the stock is doing. This thing is not climbing higher. What are these things doing? Bingo. What's that other one that went up thousands of percent? Um, I know some. This one I passed on and then it almost tripled in a few days. Uh, I also know Bingo I passed on and it doubled in a few in a month. Um, What else? What was the third one that doubled or tripled in a few days because I passed on it? I thought it was a little bit too illiquid. Hmm, what was the one? Sense, yes! That's t What's this one doing? <clears throat> yeah, this one also more than doubled very shortly. High tide flags. High tide flags are about SNDL. This was another one I passed on. I, I always wanted one more extra day. If I can one extra day sideways, I would have bought it with both hands. This thing went up, yeah, tripled in three days. UAVS, uh, no, I don't. I know I traded it back here when it got the rumor pump on me like april last year it went from 70 cents to a little bit over five bucks and we even listened to the conference call on the stream you remember guys total pump job the ceo of this company is full of shit it's a psychopath and look at this he resigned a few weeks later the guy is full of shit Amazing. Some people just, everything that comes out of their mouth is lies. How can you live, live like that? Disgusting. Disgusting people. And then you have the other uh, type of people who believe everything that is said. Naive people.
if this soon can tighten up uh, a little bit more a, a few days or a few weeks it could also look like uh, this W looked like and if it breaks out I will buy it it's building a nice flag on a weekly if it can just tighten up a little bit I mean this thing could go to and if it breaks out of this uh, this flag it's now surfing the 200 day and after it made this huge move last year you know next move higher it's gonna go to six seven hundred this thing has definitely earnings growth just insane growth triple digit look at this 713 percent eps growth 369 percent revenue growth it's had this type of growth for over a year now two years uh, just absolutely amazing like if you want to narrow the universe of stocks like if you think you're getting too many you know stocks on your scans you can just focus on one, the highest momentum stocks, or two, the highest momentum stocks with triple digit earnings. Like these types of stocks are great if you want to have a little bit of a longer time frame, because there is fundamental reasons for these to go up versus something like, I mean, I mean, just some pure pump jobs. I don't know, sense. I, I don't know why this thing is up, but let's just say, you know, it's getting pumped by Wall Street bets or anything. Like these types, they, they don't really, once the pump, pump stops, you know, they're going to go down 90%. And you never know when the pump stops. But something like this, you know, these things can go up for years and years, or at least many quarters. You short zoom? Why? What's the setup on zoom on short side? How uh, NK? Uh, yeah, a few more days is gonna be a really good looking setup. I would like the, the 20 day to catch up and this thing build a little bit more of a base here. You know, the 10 day to come down to the price. You know, pretty much the gap between the 10 and 20 did narrow a bit. Could be a potential five-star setup later this week. And is Snake yet a good setup? Uh, not yet. Um, uh, I don't know. It's, 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 I don't know. Nah, no, I wouldn't say so. I don't like it right now. Maybe if it can go sideways a bit more. I would prefer it to be a bit higher. But it's below the declining 20 and below the declining 10. Uh, I don't know. I think it may need more time. Yeah, LAC is going to be a really good setup uh, in a few days. Hopefully it doesn't break out. Hopefully it just you know, gets rejected here and goes sideways for a few more days. No, but my, my point is, why are you short from uh, uh, earn like the after hours, or was it pre-market? I would never want to short something that gaps up on triple digit earnings, because I know the odds of shorting something like that is just horrible. Oh, let's say it's a very specific setup. Let's say the stock has had a big, big run and maybe it looks like a parabolic uh, setup. I'm just trying to understand the logic. To me, you know, it sounds like uh, picking up pennies in front of a steamroller type of a setup.
I, I, you know, look, what I'm seeing here, okay, so I'm not bashing on the guy, whoever it was. Uh, oh, there's so much text in the chat. Anyways, so, you know, so, someone mentioned he, he was short, Zoom, from, I think it was after. So, so what I'm seeing here, this thing is one of the fastest growing stocks in the world right now. One of the fastest growing public companies in the world. Very hot product. And, and, you know, it gapped up on earnings, very good earnings. And I'm looking at the overall chart, you know, it's in a big, big flag. It, it has been digesting its big move from last year, found support in the 200 days, building higher lows. It has a range break here. You know, to me, it kind of sounds suicidal. Now, obviously, you know, I, I'm sure he has, you know, good risk management, but I'm just trying to, you know, understand the setup. Because from my experience, shorting something like this that's about to break out a multi-month range on super earnings. Uh, if I think the markets are going to fail again, uh, I don't know. I mean, look, we're in a base building period, you know, there's no point in looking at these up down ticks, you know, we're in a range, it, wait for the range to resolve. There's no edge looking at this, these up things, you know, going up and down. That's what, you know, things do when they're in a range, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. Uh, it's too early to tell. Is CTRM a good setup? Uh, not yet. I think it needs more time. A little bit more time. OPRX. Uh, yeah, it needs to tighten up. It's wide and loose right now. I, I think at least three to five days of sideways. It needs to tighten up. It needs to look like something like this. Okay, this is the type of thing you want to look for. Mm, right now, it's it's too too wide. Do I have a good mind clarity? Honestly, like 70% 70, 70 of my brain right now is thinking about how I will uh, continue, what I will do in my Italy campaign on Hearts of Iron 4. 30% of my uh, brain capacity is used for trading right now and answering your questions. Let's be honest here. That's the st that's the point where where I'm at to in in my day right now. <laughs> as soon as the sun goes down, it it it's, it gets really cold in my office. What does 100% mean in actual capacity? That's true. 100% uh, can differ a lot between the different people. <laughs> Sun, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you so how I get the sun into my mom's basement. I'm gonna show you, there's a Swedish company uh, wait, what's the name of it? I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to Google. Uh, let's see here. I know where their uh, offices are. Let's see. Hmm. 
Mm. Is it this one? Yes, solar tube. Yeah, it's a similar product. This is how you get the um, daylight into into your basement. This this is there is also a Swedish company doing the same thing. So pretty much you have this thing on the roof. And there's a bunch of mirrors and stuff. And then you have this tube that goes to the basement filled with mirrors. So you get daylight into the, in, the, in the basement. It's like you're being on a beach in Thailand or something. Pretty good. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the stream now. Um, I'm, yeah, I, I just wish I had shorted some Riot. Uh, that's the one thing I regret today, but yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see here. Other than that, I did, oh, it looks like, a, I bought this ICLN. A lot of these ETFs, they look the same, like TAN and ARK, and they all look the same. But in case it would, you know go bounce back you know higher but um obviously it's having no follow through tan and the arc uh, etfs they're all well actually the arc is still strong but yeah anyway. uh let's see here it's the oh mj i bought some mj looks like it's failing apha is strong and tilray is much stronger than mj which is the mariana etf Mm, and Rocket is a superstar. 
All right, guys. Thanks for joining, and I will see you tomorrow.